Today we will learn about the last few tools left for park testing. So let's get started with our test nav. We're going to double click student applications, find test nav, there it is, and double click on it to open it up. Remember sometimes if it doesn't open up right away it may be minimized down at the bottom of your screen. So always check there just in case. And I would suggest maximizing your test nav screen. For you guys, it will most likely take you to this screen that will be loading up in just a few seconds. And we want to click on Park Test Park Training. Once that loads up, we can go to Practice Tests. Today, what we're going to do is check out our Test Nav tutorial. So we're going to click this one right here. This will allow us to see many of the math tools. So I'm going to click Start Test Now and start section. Many of the tools that you haven't seen before are right up here at the top. So there's a calculator. If I click on that, a calculator pops up and I can move it anywhere on my screen so it's not covering my answers or my question. And I can start typing in or uh, answering a few questions with my mouse. So 8 times 8 equals 64. Then I can close out of it and open it up again at any time. I also have a protractor. So a protractor is great for measuring angles. I do have a ball at either end here that I can drag and rotate. So if the angles are not perfectly horizontal, I can rotate it to measure the angles that I need to in a direction I need to. So I can click again to take that off. Then there's a ruler. There's one for centimeters, like this one. Right next to it, there's one for inches. So make sure you're using the proper one. And when you're measuring, we always want to start from zero, not from the end of the ruler, but from zero and measuring down the ruler. The rulers can also be rotated. So if you have a line that's on an angle, you can use that to rotate it as well. So I'm going to close out of the ruler. This test that you're in right now, this tutorial, a lot of it is just screenshots right here that go from one screen to the next that tells you about the test. So if you want to skip ahead and actually get to some questions, you can keep clicking until about question number 11. So I'm going to go ahead. So here we go. You can practice using some of your measurements on these, rotating, and then lining, up, lining it up with the appropriate ruler. And this one would be right about there, okay? And you could even practice using the centimeters as well. That way you get practice using the rulers. And you can adjust a little bit more. There we go. So you can go ahead and keep going through and navigating and answering the dis different questions. Usually they'll introduce it first, then it'll give you a practice question like this one. So you can do your, turn your calculator on and add 18 plus 22, 18. 22 equals and then answer the question and of course at any time you can use any of these things that you've used before like our line ma reader mask uh, you can use our answer eliminator tools and so on at this point I'm going to close out of this particular tutorial so I'm going to go up to where it says guest and sign out of test nav save and return later then I'm going to go back to sign in the other tools are on a different tutorial that we need to get to. So we're going to go back to practice tests and go to mathematics and then grades three to five. So I'm going to click right here. Start test now and start section. I'm going to skip to the last question. So I'm going to click review and go all the way down to question number 22. This allows me to do the equation editor and a new drawing box. So for my equation editor, I could type in 2 plus 2 equals, well, of course, 4. That's pretty simple. I can also do the fractions, which are a little bit more complicated. So I have my numerator on the top. 
my denominator on the bottom, and if I click in the middle, I could add a plus sign, a minus sign, an equal sign, and so on. So let me do 1 for my numerator, click in the bottom for my denominator, 2, click in the middle, notice it's much, much longer, the cursor or blinking line, so I'm going to put a plus sign. Then I'm going to do a mixed number. I'm going to put 1 for the whole, and I'm going to do 1 again for my numerator. Oh, let me see. What if I make a mistake? And I accidentally click something like this. Now I have all these parentheses. I don't understand any of the, what just happened. So the easiest thing to do is, you guessed it, click Undo. So no need to panic. You do something you don't understand, just undo it. So I'm going to put 1 as my numerator, then 2 as my denominator. Click in the middle. Notice I have the longer cursor now. I'm going to click Equals. Anyone know what this answer is? A half plus a half is one, plus my one whole already equals two. So if you do make a mistake, you have that undo. You also have a trash can that clears it all. And even if you made a mistake and use the trash can, you can undo that as well. So definitely practice using the fractions and mix, mixed numbers to answer a question here. For our drawing box, Park has not shared with us how they're going to use the drawing box but it's important for you guys to know how to use the tool so here we have a pencil tool and a straight line tool let's do the pencil tool wherever I click and draw it will draw a line then the straight line tool I hold and drag and wherever I let go of the mouse it will finish drawing the X allows me to click on any of the lines and it will delete them. Sometimes I notice you have to be exactly in the right spot, otherwise it will not want to delete. This next box, guess what? Well, changes color. This one changes, you guessed it, our size. So let's try one of those again. Here we have a nice thick line of a different color. I do have an undo arrow. I have a redo arrow, and I have a trash can to clear it all out again. So definitely get some practice with the drawing box. Uh, you may have to draw boxes, bars, I'm not sure, but get familiar with drawing a couple different shapes and so on. So that ends this little tutorial. Go try it yourself.